Without a doubt, Instagram is one of the most popular social media platforms out there. And despite the Insta name to it, there's several different ways of taking shots to make your Instagram pictures look amazing. Here's how. So to get your ultimate Instagram post, what you're firstly gonna need is a decent camera. Now, of course, these days, most people's camera is on their mobile phone. There's nothing wrong with that. They take an excellent photo. With a bit of tweaking, you can get some really, really good results. So we're gonna take a look at those in a minute and show you some really useful apps and hidden locked features that you might not know about. Next up, of course, is the Mighty GoPro. So it's just an onboard video camera, right? Well, not so. You can actually take some amazing still photos with these. And because of the fisheye lens on them, it captures a really wide angle of view. So it gives a very unique perspective and can actually capture some pretty dramatic results. But again, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. Next up is some sort of compact camera. So most people have got a holiday snaps camera, whether it's a little Panasonic or a Sony, something like that. Or maybe you've got a micro four thirds or some sort of compact camera with interchangeable lenses like this little Fuji here. Now these you can get some really professional results with because they're a lot more capable and they've got a lot more manual features. So with just a single lens, we're gonna show you how to get the best out of your little compact camera. And finally, it's the mighty DSLR. Undisputed king of taking photos out on a mountain bike, but they can be quite complicated bits of kit. So even the basic level DSLRs, we're talking about the entry level price points here, you can get some really, really good results with just a few key settings. So we're gonna take you through those as well. Right, this, my friends, is a mobile phone that you carry around in your pocket or your backpack for safety or in the need of calling someone or a friend if you're lost. But that little thing right there is a camera. It's a great way for capturing images of you or your buddies out there on the trail. The great thing about a mobile phone is that you can download a number of applications for your phone for taking certain photos or to doctor the photo to make it look even better, to enhance it. But there's a number of apps out there and there's two that I really do use a lot and that is Snapseed and Lightroom. With Lightroom that can open a lot of hidden features that the mobile phone camera has to offer that you can't access through the normal phone app. Also within Lightroom you can adjust your shutter speed and your ISO. By ISO what I mean is it gives you a digital gain within the phone but I can go on so much about all of those settings. They're just a few great apps for you to use and download to your mobile phone so that's a good way of taking a photo but you got one of these little fellas the GoPro or an action camera these are super wide there's a lot of great ways to take photos using one of these sports cameras uh, you can shoot a number of settings which I'll go through uh, there's a few settings I like to use within the GoPro to capture my perfect action shot well to be honest a few shots really by using time-lapse mode at 0.5 seconds so that means every 0.5 second a photo has been taken so just before you just about to drop into the trail select the right setting hit record drop in let it do its thing get to the end press stop and then it comes up with like a hundred photos and you can choose from a hundred of them so it doesn't matter where you've been on the trail if you've done a cool shape and you managed to capture it you got a perfect shot but if you have a buddy with you these things come with a little remote control or you can use your mobile phone by using the app is you can get your buddy to put this into burst mode and click a button and on, on a se certain section of trail by pressing the burst mode it can capture you riding through a bit of trail. And that's how I got this photo of me at nine nights. So that brings me on to all of these mounts that you can mount to yourself, mount to your bike, putting this action camera in places that no other camera can go to capture a rad photo. My favorite is the unicorn mount, and that's basically taping a, a huge pole to my head, sticking a GoPro out front, capturing my person of me doing some action, doing some tricks, doing whatever. Hence why I got this rad shot at nine nights. So one of the coolest shots you can have on your Instagram page is a pan shot because they're such an effective way of capturing movement on a bike. And they're relatively easy to get with a few basic settings and just a, a bit of practice and trial and error. As for actual settings, you want anything down from 100th down to about 30th, depending on stuff. For this shot, I've got my 23mm lens, which pretty much lives on my compact camera here. And I'm gonna shoot this at about 60th, and then this should get a really nice shot of Blake. So I'm gonna shoot this on a high speed feature, like the burst feature, because it's gonna maximize my chances of getting a really nice, sharp shot. I'm aiming to get Blake somewhere here, roughly in front of me. I'm just gonna get down nice and low, and when he comes into shot, I'm gonna hold to half focus and let it rip, and there should be a good shot in there. 
Okay. Pretty good. I reckon I could go for a slower shutter speed, but nice shot of Blake here. The background's blurry, and he looks pretty. That's pretty pin sharp, you know. Really simple for such a basic section of trail. Great result for Instagram, that. So hopefully our Instagram video has been helpful for you and you're gonna start making some amazing Instagram videos. There's a couple more coming in the series, so really exciting stuff. Next time we're gonna be looking at making the ultimate selfie and following that one, I'm sure you're all gonna be keen on how to get your bike in the bike vault. In the meantime, click down here if you wanna see Blake's video on how to make an epic video all by yourself and edit it the whole lot. And if you wanna see Martin's video from Whistler where a lot of that stuff Martin self shot, click right down here. Don't forget that all of these Instagram posts and all the stuff we've been making in this video, you'll be able to see it on the GMBN Instagram account just down there. And of course, as always, click on the globe to subscribe. Brand new content coming straight to you every single day. And if this video has been good for you, give us a thumbs up.